Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you a quick look of the Android 9.0 Beta 2 on our OnePlus 6. This is TK and this is XDA TV. What Beta 2 is bringing over to our OnePlus 6 is a few tweaks and some more Oxygen OS features onto this device and making it a little bit more functional for us. Now, number one thing I'm going to say is it actually does say Android 9.0 now. So we now, of course, that it's been 9.0 since we've seen it on our Pixel 2 XL, as I did the video for you guys over on my channel. If you guys would like to see that video, it'll be in the description. Uh, but overall, pretty simple. Just uh, bringing it up, you have gestures that's integrated into the system. We didn't have that in the first one. So I'm able to open it up, go back, and bring it up in the middle side, and then, of course, bring in the Recents app. The Clear All is at the top. It's no longer at the bottom. Uh, and then, of course, uh, folder animations are still pretty much the same. Uh, if we go into the settings tab a little bit, we'll see some more optimizations under display. Uh, you'll notice basically that notch, his ability to hide the notch is now available here. That's something that we didn't have in preview one. Although with standard Oxygen OS, these things are standard features. Uh, ambient display here is available. You're able to turn it on, uh, but unfortunately we don't have always on display. So that's something that if you do need access to, uh, you will need to basically either root this device or make sure to get the Magix installer at this point, as I did another video here at XDA showcasing how to bring that. Uh, that process unfortunately doesn't work on Android 9, but if you have Android 8.0 or earlier, you're definitely set. Color calibration or screen calibration is still in there. We have default sRGB, DCI P3, as well as adaptive mode. And of course, we do have the custom where you're able to just customize that. Now, as far as the accent colors, we do have the color picker. We're able to go in there and customize the color selection specifically to whatever color you want. I mean, you notice right here, I have the blue tint, uh, but I can actually bring it in here. And then let's say we can see the preview right there. We'll go into the purple side. Um, and I can actually just go ahead and hit check the box and then update that. And then I'll make that my selection. And of course, purple becomes my screen. Uh, man, uh, I don't think I'm going to stick with this color. But overall, it's definitely really nice to see all of that in there. Uh, other than that, very few minor up to, uh, updates in here. I did notice a couple of things that were supposed to be included that are not working. As we've seen in the announcement that Google Lens is actually available. So if you swipe up from the top, we do see Google Lens integrated within the camera. Um, of course, you can definitely download the Google Lens application directly from the Play Store and install it on your device. Uh, but unfortunately, it does not work on this device right now. So opening it in the camera, and if I do go to Google Lens, we get some kind of a grayed out view. You'll notice right there, you can still see the viewfinder. You can actually touch the screen, but you can't initiate anything. You can't do anything. And then when I do swipe back, it takes me back just to regular camera mode. So it's there. They're definitely trying to bring it in. It's not functional, but it's definitely there. Uh, the other thing I want to share with you guys real quick is we do have Bluetooth connect uh, connectivity. So you're able to basically turn on Bluetooth, go in there, discover, add things. Unfortunately, um, audio routing is not working on this. So uh, you can connect a pair of headphones. Example would be these guys. And I'm going to go ahead and turn them on. I think if I'm not mistaken, I already have them paired. So it's turned on. And then um, we'll give it a second. You'll notice right there it connected. It's working fine, right? So I'm going to go into YouTube. Go in and I'll open up my last video that I did here. I'm going to bring the headphones over to my uh, microphone and volume. You can see it's all the way 100%. Nothing. And of course, turn off Bluetooth. Explain to you why. The reason behind this is Audio plays back on the device, fine. Uh, it seems to be a, probably a little bug. Hopefully we'll see an update to that that will fix it. Uh, but overall, other than that, it works pretty good. Um, I did pop in my SIM card and connectivity is pretty good. I'm able to send and receive calls, uh, messages, all of that stuff works fine. Uh, would I say this is daily driver ready? It really depends. If you're not relying too much on Bluetooth audio, then I would say probably yes. If you'd like to be able to rock this on a daily driver, just see how it works. Uh, if you depend on Bluetooth the way I do, um, especially for music, not to say that the three and a half millimeter headphone jack is not good enough, uh, you're going to need to basically keep this as a, maybe on a secondary device just to basically play with this. And then uninstalling this going back to Oxygen OS, it's a little bit of a process, but check the link in the description below for the article that we posted on the portal that will give you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to recover and revert back to Oxygen OS if you're done playing with this. We are definitely getting a major overhaul from what we saw in the Beta 1. I mean, a lot of things are actually working. We have gestures, we have an integrated utilities tab in there that showcases some additional functionality. Like gaming mode, parallel apps, apps app locker, scheduled on and off, pocket mode, as well as the OnePlus switch to transfer our data. The other thing about this is that we're starting to see some glimpses or even early looks at what Oxygen OS 6.0 is going to look like on our OnePlus 6. You'll notice the settings tab. It actually doesn't look like the Android P running on the Pixel 2 XL or even Oxygen OS 5 running on the current version of the uh, you know OnePlus 6 or other devices. So we're going to start to see some 
more new things, new hints, new features that we can see down the road coming out once Android P becomes official. And of course, OnePlus buttons up everything. But it looks like they're pretty neck and neck with the uh, beta release. I mean, if you see from beta one to beta two, it definitely looks a lot better, way better polished. And of course, ready to be able to be a daily driver with a few hiccups here and there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. Make sure to check out my channel and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.